It is an extremely nasty way my girlfriend, who I was about to get engaged with, cheated on me. Amber and I had been dating for two years. I saw her in a bar and caught her attention. She even glanced at me. In an attempt to talk to her, I offered her a drink. As a result, we became closer in a matter of few hours. Although it sounds crazy, we got so close in a matter of days. Maybe we should do something together to pass the time. Considering that I do not believe that she was serious when we started dating, I believe she was not really serious. I decided to keep things casual and take things slow. We agreed not to rush into anything and just enjoy each other's company. As a matter of fact, we met on a daily basis. She worked as a receptionist for a company and we had a strong bond. I began falling in love with her but I did not see any signs of emotional involvement from her at first. I thought this relationship was going nowhere but then she didn't show any signs of commitment and I was worried. She simply stayed around me to pass the time. She didn't seem to love me from the very beginning but after a few months I believe she started to love me as well. Anyhow, I was in love with her from the beginning. Her activities seemed suspicious. She used to tell a lot of lies, but she had a good reason for each lie. In the end, it got really deep and I thought that I should discuss my feeling with it, but I was shocked to find out her thoughts on it. She told me she loved me, but she wasn't ready. In her opinion, she wanted her life to be independent and to earn a lot of money. She revealed she loved me but wasn't ready. She was working for the first time in the city that day. Before that, she lived with her parents, so she wanted me to understand her. I didn't say anything to her, but I didn't. Now, we are on the same page, so I did not say anything to her. As a result, we decided to give our relationship some time to grow. We decided to take things slow and give ourselves time to get to know each other better. We both agreed that it was the best way to ensure our relationship would be strong and successful in the future. After spending a few months with each other, she also moved into my apartment at the beginning of the relationship. Her behavior changed over time but I was just giving her space so she could fulfill her own wishes. I wasn't very financially stable at the time but she was still with me and she loved me even more for that reason. Despite the fact that I knew about her nature and her desire to earn a living, despite the fact that I was struggling, she never complained and always supportive. We eventually go through the hard times together and our relationship grew stronger as a result. She was always there for me and I was thankful for that. The fact that she was spending a lot of time outside was something I had noticed for quite some time. It was very apparent for me that she had not been working because her job was till 2 p.m. One day I decided to ask her about her routine. She usually returned about 11 p.m. I usually go to bed at around 10 p.m. because I have to rise early in the morning. So that night I woke up at 11 p.m. She arrived home and as soon as she saw me, she was shocked to see me so awake. She asked me why I had not slept until then. Due to our busy schedules, we are unable to get together nowadays. I said I wanted to talk about a topic with you. When she greeted me, I felt something very strange happen to me during the hug. There was a strong scent coming from her that was very strong, as if it were a frequency of a male scent. I didn't stop myself from asking her why she had such a strong scent from a male perfume. She stared at me at first and then said, with a smile, that you should not ask such questions, since I'm not your wife. I became serious and asked her again. She laughed and said, her new boss is a very jolly man. He was very happy to be joining today and that's why he was greeting everyone as well as hugging each and every member of staff that he came across. I asked her again, but why? She said, don't worry, he's very old and a married man. I didn't ask her any more questions because the answers she gave me felt like it was true. 
so I ended up not asking her any more questions. We fell asleep shortly after. The other night was another time when she came home. As I was taking off her shirt, I saw a brand new necklace in her neck that looked very expensive. I asked her where she got it from, but she just smiled and said nothing. I knew she was hiding something from me, and I realized I have to love her. After I asked where she got it, she told me to forget it. I pulled away and looked into her eyes, feeling a deep connection between us. We just stayed in that moment, enjoying each other's presence and feeling content. However, the triggering point was still lingering in my mind after we had physical relations. She fell asleep after having physical relation. I was unable to sleep for quite some time. As soon as I got up, I went to the balcony to smoke again. In the middle of the smoke, I had a flash of a necklace in my mind. I walked to the cupboard where she had put the necklace. When I opened the cupboard, I washed it. I took the necklace in my hand and observed it. It was as beautiful as it was the first time I saw it. I realized that this is what I was looking for all along. When she asked me what I was doing there, I said nothing. I was just watching that necklace. I asked her where she got the necklace from. She said she had been saving up for it for the last six weeks before buying this necklace. I asked her why she had not told me. It was sad that she purchased it today, and when she came home I wasn't giving her time to tell me, so we started having some intimate moments when she got home. We then talked about how she had been saving up for it for the last six weeks, and she was really proud of herself for being able to buy it. She said she was going to wear it to our next dinner date. I said okay to that. Perhaps it was true that she was saving money to get that necklace. But I would say that I found it odd that she managed to buy that necklace despite having only a small closet and paying money to cover the expenses in the apartment. I could not help but think that she was receiving help from someone else. I asked her about it but she denied and said she had saved enough money. I wasn't convinced but I decided to drop the matter. During that time, I did not pay attention to it. My work was very stressful on that particular day that I went to a bar with my colleagues to drink and enjoy. When I was in my car, we were heading towards the parking lot and I thought I saw an old man and a girl going to a car as they were walking towards it. I saw that man holding that girl with his pointers. I saw them kiss before getting into the car. The girl looked like Amber from her back and I was frozen when I saw her. I thought she was Amber, but then I thought maybe she was someone else. I wasn't sure if it was really her, so I just kept driving. I didn't want to stop and ask because I didn't want to make it awkward. I kept my eyes on the road and tried to focus on getting to the parking lot. We parked our car and got into the bar. During the entire time I was there, my heart was telling me she was Amber, but at the same time, I realized that she was not Amber. I asked one of my friends, who was with me, if he recognized her, but he didn't. I decided to leave it alone and focus on enjoying the evening. I never got a chance to find out if it was really her or not. After I returned home, I slept because I was so exhausted. I woke up the next morning, feeling fresh and energetic, but suddenly my eyes caught the dress hanging in my wardrobe as soon as I got up. The wardrobe door was open and it was the same dress she wore last night. I was shocked. I was so surprised that I went close to the dress and looked at it from top to bottom in a blink of an eye. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was sure it was the same dress she was wearing last night. I was startled and puzzled. My eyes and heart felt like shrinking under the moment, like Amber came into the room, asking what I was doing. I did not respond to her question. I asked her where she had been last night. She said she went along with her friends to a bar to have fun, as well as her boss was along with them. She told me that she had gone with her friends to a bar to enjoy the night. I realized that she was that girl that I had met at the same time in a flash. In a matter of seconds, I became aware of who she was at that time. In a hurry, I left the house without saying anything. 
I was feeling frustrated and broken at that time. I felt like I had been betrayed by her. I thought she had lied to me about her whereabouts. I was angry and confused, and I couldn't understand why she would do such a thing. After walking for 50 minutes and realizing and digging into reality, I decided to invade her privacy more. The reason I wanted to invade her privacy more was because I was very curious why she was telling me the truth if she was cheating on me. I took a deep breath. I was determined to find out the truth no matter what. I had to know why she had lied to me. When I came home, she had already left, so I started looking through everything she had. I didn't find anything suspicious, but I still felt betrayed. When I opened her cupboard, I began scrolling through everything in her cupboard. Although she was still hoping that I was mistaken about her infidelity, I remained hopeful. I was relieved to find nothing that would... It was again strange to see that she had some files, as well as some medical reports of her. And I asked myself, did she suffer from some health problems? However, after reading those reports, I was absolutely shocked by what I was discovering. It was a pregnancy test report. The result was positive. I could not believe what I was seeing. My suspicions were confirmed. My mistake regarding her loyalty had been proven. And finally, I discovered that she had been sleeping with her boss, an old man who was her boss. I felt a deep hurt in my heart. I had trusted her and she had betrayed me. I could no longer believe in anyone, not even myself. As I sat on the floor, whatever happened, I thought that I still needed to investigate her further. I had to find out the whole truth. I decided to confront her after finding everything and ask her what had happened. I knew it would not be easy, but I had to try. I hired a private investigator in order to get the answers to my questions. After discussing all details with him, he began to investigate her in an effort to find out what was going on. After a few weeks of investigation, the private investigator was able to uncover the truth. He presented me with all the evidences he had gathered and I was able to make an informed decision. I had no choice except to wait until I found out the truth. Upon opening the first envelope, I discovered she was in bed with a man. I broke down in tears, but I managed to control myself. The private investigator explained that he was sorry for everything. The private investigator provided me with another envelope in which I found a picture of Amber with her boss. Amber had been lying to me the whole time. I was furious and heartbroken. I vowed to never trust her again. It was even more stunning for me. He told me that for the last year, she had been sleeping with a different man. I was speechless. I had no words to describe the pain I felt in that moment. I knew I had to move on and accept the truth. It had just been a few weeks since her boss entered her life. She was pregnant with the first man and she was blackmailing him and seeking money from her boss. Her boss agreed to help her with a financial burden in exchange for her loyalty and secrecy. She accepted the offer and a new life began for her as she slowly started to build a relationship with her boss. I had no idea what should I do, but I did come up with an idea. Then I took everything and somehow B, he managed to get Amber's boss's number. So I phoned him, gave him a tip that he ought to do a paternity check for Amber's unborn infant, and I sent pictures of her sleeping with another man. Amber's boss agreed to do the paternity test, which revealed that the unborn infant was not his. As a result, her boss terminated her employment and Amber was left without a job. She was devastated and had no idea what will go into happen with her next. He was extremely angry and he frequently asked me who I was. However, I did not answer him. It was clear to him now everything. The next day, Amber's boss called her in for a meeting and fired her on the spot. Amber was shocked and humiliated and she had no idea what had happened. And I just had to wait for him to react to Amber one more day. She came home the following evening. She was very worried. I asked what happened to her, and she replied that she had resigned from the job as she was fed up with it. Then I told her that you had resigned 
or you had been fired by your boss. Upon hearing this, she asked me who had told me. I said through those pictures, graphs of her infidelity with these two men on her face, I saw her face as if she had been in danger. In the end, she came very close to me. She claimed that she was capable of explaining, but I told her where the door was and I had already packed her luggage. She begged me to let her in, but I kicked her out. She started to cry and I felt my heart melting. I wanted to let her in, but I knew I couldn't. I closed the door and walked away, not looking back. I didn't give a damn to her, and I don't regret it one bit. God helped me see her evil face in the first place. I was safe from marrying her by God. I still thank God for protecting me from such a person. I thank him for showing me the truth and for saving me from a miserable future. I am now living my life happily without her.